Hello, my name is Amber Darm, one of the pharmacists here at Leesburg Pharmacy. And today I'm going to show you how to withdraw the contents of an injectable medication into a syringe, which would apply for a couple different medications that we dispense to our patients in the compounding center. Um, today I'm just going to show you uh, by using the methylcobalamin. So for some of you who are using methylcobalamin, this is going to look very familiar to you. If you're withdrawing the contents of another medication, uh, the medication possibly could look different in color, the consistency, as well as the volume that you might be withdrawing. But you can use this tutorial just to show you how to withdraw the contents of a medication. Okay, so we'll start with what supplies you're going to need. You're going to need the medication that you're going to withdraw the medication from. You're going to need the syringe that's been supplied for you. And the syringe that I'm using today may differ from the one that you're actually going to have. And then an alcohol swab is important to have as well. If you don't have gloves, just make sure that you wash your hands with uh, warm soap and water and um, make sure that your hands are nice and clean before you withdraw the contents. So this particular vial came from the compounding center and it has its own little seal on the top of the vial. You would remove the plastic metal cover, excuse me, off the top, peel it away and be careful because it is a very thin metal so it could actually um, cut your skin so you want to be very careful. Once you've removed that, you'll see that there's a rubber stopper right in the middle. This is the area that you want to make sure that you clean with the alcohol swab prior to withdrawing the contents that you need. So you're going to tear open the alcohol swab. You're going to swipe across the top of the vial. You don't want to do it a lot, maybe once or twice is fine. And that way you're going to make sure that that area is nice and clean. Depending upon the dose that you're going to be withdrawing, and for the purposes of this particular video, we'll draw a total of 0.5 mLs. So that would be drawing the plunger back to this point. You want to make sure that you're withdrawing the plunger back, and the top of the plunger is the designated mark for the volume of liquid that you are going to be needing. So you're going to withdraw air into your syringe to the volume that you're going to need. You're going to carefully take the cap off of the syringe, pulling it away from your body, that way you don't run the risk of actually jabbing yourself with the needle. So you see that we have a very tiny needle in this scenario. You're going to take the needle very carefully at a 45 degree angle. You're going to put it into the rubber stopper. Flip the vial upside down just like this. You can hold it with your fingers comfortably this way. You're going to push the air into the vial and then you're going to withdraw it back to the volume that you had previously designated with the air. Now each medication is a little different. Sometimes it's easy to do this. Sometimes you have to pull, pull back with a little bit more force. If you get a little bit of air into the syringe, you can see sometimes a little bit of air at the top. You just want to kind of tap it away. A very tiny air bubble is not going to be that critical, but you do want to get as much of the air out as you possibly can. You also want to be careful not to bend the vial back and forth because you could bend the needle and then you're just going to pull it straight out at that point you have the dose that you need the 0.5 ml we don't recommend that you recap but if you were to need to recap just make sure that you have the cap laying down onto the surface and then you would just gently put the needle into that area and then you could recap it that way that makes it a little bit safe scenario so that you don't run the risk of also pricking yourself with that needle once again. So that's how you withdraw the contents of the volume of liquid that you need.